Since Thomas Edison patented his light bulb in the late 1800s, people have pretty much used the same type of light bulb, the incandescent or standard bulb. In 2012, the government mandated that all incandescent bulbs be more energy efficient, starting with the 100 watt bulb. But what exactly does that mean? Well, for a lot of people, they think that incandescent bulbs are going to start disappearing off of the shelves. But that's not true at all. It just means there'll be more types of bulbs to choose from, while others may be harder to find. That's right, and as we'll show you in a couple of minutes, there are lots and lots of different types of bulbs to choose from. There's compact fluorescent, LEDs, halogen, and incandescent, just to name a few. Let's go take a look, and we'll keep in mind what you should think about when shopping for light bulbs. Here we go. This aisle has lots of bulbs that have the words energy efficient splashed across their boxes. But don't be confused, because energy efficient just means they use less energy than standard incandescent bulbs. Some energy efficient bulbs are better than others. For example, halogen bulbs say they are energy efficient, and they are, but not as much as CFL bulbs or LED bulbs. To help you choose, you should compare the lumens to the wattage. Lumens is a term for the amount of light given off from a bulb, and wattage, of course, is the amount of energy used by a bulb. Low wattage bulbs save energy, and then you need to check the lumens just to make sure you're getting the lighting you need for the space you need to light. That's right, and the important thing is to compare the watts per lumens. So, shopping for lumens really is the key to make sure that you're getting the right amount of light. Now, in the past, you probably shopped for new bulbs by looking at the wattage. The lower the wattage, the less power used. But now that CFLs and LEDs use less wattage to generate a similar amount of light as the incandescent counterparts, it's no longer a good way to shop for your bulbs. For example, take a look at this chart. A 60-watt incandescent bulb puts out the same amount of light as a 13 to 15-watt CFL or a six to eight watt LED. Those are some great savings. They really are. And something to keep in mind, according to the Department of Energy, if you switched out a 100 watt traditional bulb with an Energy Star CFL, you'll save $6 in energy cost per year. Now just multiply that by the number of bulbs in your house for even bigger savings. So don't be alarmed if it becomes harder to find the bulbs you are used to buying. Over the next several years, 40, 60, 75, and 100 watt bulbs may be harder to find. But it doesn't mean all incandescent bulbs will be going away. That's right. Specialty bulbs will still be sold. Bulbs like three-way, chandelier, and plant lights. Ultimately, this change will help many people like yourselves save more energy on your electric bill. So remember, start shopping for lumens when you're buying your light bulbs, not just watts. And always look for the Energy Star label. For more information about the government mandate on incandescent light bulbs or other lighting facts, go to our website at powerhousetv.com.